Hello. Before I start this video, uh, pretty much, I'm just gonna say if you were triggered by my last video, I'm super sorry. Uh, but you guys are actually wrong in the comment section. Anorexia is not caused by diseases. I actually have facts right here in front of me on a piece of paper. So I'm sorry if you were triggered by that. Um, but let me just say, I read the comments and I realized you guys are mad at me and you guys are triggered, I guess. But I'm sorry to tell you this, you're just wrong. Uh, you guys are very... I understand where you're coming from when I first heard about people talking about anorexic people. I thought they were morons too. But I actually have uh, right in front of me um, a piece of paper and it has a lot of facts on it because I did my research today. So, eating disorders. A condition in which people are compelled to need to starve, to binge, or to binge and purge it is an eating disorder. To eat large amounts of food over short periods of time is to binge. To rid of the food by vomiting or using laxatives and whatever that says, is to purge. Eating disorders are addictions. Teens are with eating disorders feel compelled to starve, eat to excess, vomit, or use lax laxatives, and exercise to the extremes to control their weight. Is it, as with other addictions, eating disorders are caused by misformed attitudes and harmful ways to copy, of copy. So teens with anorexic, often females of, often uh, female, females who are 14 to 18 years old are often very thin, deny their behavior, deny they are hungry, withdraw from others, and they also, when they are, if they are females, they do not have their menstrual periods, and they resist treatment. But what you guys were thinking of was bulimia, and this is what it is. Are often females age 15 to 24, often have a normal weight, or may have a normal weight, are often are aware of their behavior and feel guilty but cannot change, recognize they are hungry and want to eat but they don't. Many are outgoing and social, and females have irregular menstrual periods, but they still have their period. Are more like and are also more likely to be confronted with their behavior, so they are more likely to go get help. So, body image is the per is a perception of a person of has of his or her body appearance. Teens who have positive body images look in the mirror and say like what they see. They are not uncomfortable if they are shorter, taller, or less muscular than other teens. Teens with negative body images look in the mirror and are dissatisfied, which are anorexic people. If you look into the mirror and you have see that you have a healthy weight, why would you get, want to get rid of that? People will call you fat because the normal healthy weight, I, I can't exactly remember it. I want to say it's around 140 or 130 for uh, girls around the age of 15 or something like that. I don't know the actual weight. I don't have that chart in front of me. But they look in the mirror and they are un dissat dissatisfied. They want to have a different body appearance. They have developed a, disor a disordered body image. They look in the mirrors and they see themselves as fat or unhealthy when they are not. Television shows and magazine ads are often portraying teens that are excessively thin. Teens who lack self-confidence may begin to compare themselves to these successful models and professional athletes. So, in France somewhere, there was this model, right? She actually, like was at a really normal weight she was really healthy i guess and then i guess she was told she was too fat so then her people like that she was working for told her that she needed to start like going anorexic so that way she can actually start to look better i guess but they were wrong and that basically caused her to go anorexic and then she was anorexic for a very long while so that even put her into the hospital so then she took a picture and she, of her naked and she put it onto a billboard so that way people could see what models are going through. Because people who are anorexic don't deny that they are anorexic. It is not caused by disabilities or illnesses. It is caused by misjudgment and uh, not being satisfied with who you are. People always get this wrong and I understand that you guys thought I was wrong, but I was actually right. And I'm not saying that you guys are, like, dead wrong, because you guys are talking about another thing, which is bulimia, which people do, which I just explained pretty much a little bit ago. But also, it's just, I understand where you're coming from, because here's also some behaviors of an eating disorder. I constantly compare myself to others. I am unhappy with my physical appearance. I wear baggy clothes to hide my body changes, such as my breasts, females. I think it is disgusting to have menstrual periods, females. I am never satisfied with anything I do. My parents is my parent or guardian is never satisfied with anything I do. I felt unsafe during my childhood from alcoholism, physical abuse, and sexual abuse in the family. I only feel secure when I'm 
when I f can feel the I am in control over the situation. That's why they go anorexic. I do not feel what... Or that's not a reason why they go anorexic. That's just another... I don't want to say helping reason, but it's like... See, when people go anorexic, it's because... I already explained this. Because they got bullied, they're unhappy with their appearance, or many other personal things. You guys should have done your research before actually talking. Like, talking shit. Because you guys are wrong. I hate to be that kind of guy, but I was the right one here. You guys were the wrong ones. I does my, I did my research. I just took a class at my school about all this. And it's just anorexia is often confused with bulimia. So I understand your confusion. So I just wanted to point those facts out to you. And if you still call me a sick bastard, I, I can't really change your opinion of me because you guys already hate me pretty much. I know Swifty does. But also, it's just, it's like really annoying when people do that. Like, you didn't do your research, even though I pretty much did do my research. Also, it seems like whenever people are anorexic, you can tell. But people who are have bulimia, you can't tell sometimes, but you also can tell because they will also tell you, like, I think I'm anorexic, but they're wrong. They, they're actually bulimia, have bulimia. So, I just wanted to point those facts out. You guys should have done your research before talking shit. I'm just saying. 